sculpting. <laughs> the Academy Ball. Chapter 18. The corridors of the scene hall were filled with soft murmurs of women, the rustle of expensive fabrics and the occasional giggle, and excitement had transformed Mariana into a force of nature. Only once she and Percy had donned their finery and done up all their buttons and clasps did she let either of them pause to breathe. And breathing was difficult. <clears throat> With grand ceremony, both girls turned to look in the mirror. Percy did not recognize herself. Pale lavender satin enveloped her in contemporary style. Paired with a snug corset, Percy's flowing skirt swept out into a bell with gathered layers drawn up on either side and cinched into a bustle at the back. A high back dress with buttons all down the spine, its neckline was elegantly hooked to allow a generous amounts of flesh to be shown without scandal. The glitter of her necklace chain matched the sparkle of Percy's eyes, and her phoenix charm lay reassuringly tucked into her, into her bodice. A perfect braid swept her white hair into a circlet, and sprigs of heather crowned her a veritable fairy queen. Mariana had rubbed the oil of the flowers behind Percy's ears and around her wrists, and the smell of Percy's nostrils, and the smell filled Percy's nostrils with a calm delight. Mariana, elegant in burgundy taffeta with fitted sleeves and a slender, and, and slender waist, spun about slowly. She produced a set of pale lavender lace gloves and presented them to her friend. You are an incredible sight, Percy. You are Titania. This gala is yours. I, I, I do look all right, don't I? For the first time in her life, she was nearly pretty. Her perfumed hands flitted over each other, and she could not stop staring at her reflection. But there was one hesitation. She had never once left her room without a scarf. Mariana, I, I can't. I'm frightened. Overwhelmed, she shook her head and reached for the muslin. Percy, I tell you, you look amazing. Schön. But you're accustomed to me. Well, you and the professor. He's seen me, too. He's, he's demanded I be brave and not hide behind shrouds while I'm in his office. Tonight, Percy, you'll be braver than ever before. A second floor chamber, long locked away, silently ready. The ballroom of Premise Hall was a dreamingly glittering sight to behold. This gala was the Academy's one grand indulgence, and Percy and Mariana stood hesitantly at the threshold. Mariana had to keep removing Percy's hands from her collar, foiling her instinct to cover up. The ballroom was long, one side lined with high windows that made a dark, starry night visible above the rim of the courtyard. At the center, French doors opened onto little balconies, past filmy white curtains rustling in the wake of a crisp fall breeze. The silhouettes of coupled men and women stood staring contemplatively at each other's faces or the evening sky. The opposite wall was golden and colonnaded with wide doors at both ends. Alcoves exhibited gaggles of murmuring ladies reclining upon benches lined with crimson velvet. Busts of philosophers and literary figures stood silent sentry amidst the frivolity. If living guards were posted, they had done well to dress finely in London. After drinking in the sights, the two girls crept beyond the threshold. Percy glanced around. Mariana anticipated her and nodded across the long hall. Like a guardian statue at the back stood an unmistakable figure, tall and swathed in black. Percy let out a choking sigh. Hugh hot focus, my friend. Why is it you set your sights only on the forbidden? Is it because you feel no one else will court you? The evening had made Mariana bold, but Percy did not mind. In this atmosphere, it seemed as if almost anything could happen. No, he, he just... Percy found she had no words. Mariana's friend Edward approached, cutting a dashing figure in a navy coat that fitted like a glove, gray silk cravat tucked neatly into his vest, his tuffled chestnut hair hanging adorably down over his eyebrows. He stared at Mariana with unabashed rapture. This far a lie, he murmured, clearly relishing the opportunity to kiss her gloved hand. Their bodies shivered simultaneously.